Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting paid. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, why do engineers get paid so much, especially software engineers? Because we rock, dude. Let's be honest here. Let's throw away the shackles of humbleness and just say, call it like it is. We are fucking great, all of us. We make the world spin. That's what we do. We hold all of the computers in our hands, and through those computers we rule the world. If you don't believe me, look at the top richest companies, and uh, you will see what I'm talking about. Everybody wants to be in IT these days, because there's uh, there's internet millions to be made. I like to say that to my uh, my neighbors. They're about 80 both, and been most of they've been gardeners for their entire life. And we like to joke, and I say, I, I'm gonna go to work now. I'm uh, getting some of my, some of those Google millions that you've been hearing about, because that's what my life is about. As for how much we get paid and why we get mu get paid that much, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna try to not say that you get paid fairly well as a software engineer. I think that you should know that there are ways to get e earn even more, so it's not like you're running around out earning every single person who's doing something else. I mean, you can if you get the right stock options in the right company and you manage to uh, actually live the, I'm not saying that it's the, it's the American dream, but it's the dream of Silicon Valley at the very least. That's why half of you are on this channel, right? Uh, you can absolutely have that sort of experience. It's not the norm, but it can happen. For the regular mortals of us, who were just kind of in it for the tech, uh, we earn a good living. And the reason why we earn that living is because the earning potential of the skills that we have. That is why. Uh, that's one part, of course. The other part is that there's an enormous hype around, as I was saying, IT. Like everybody believes that the IT is going. I mean, in, 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 if you look at the success cases, if you look at the big companies, as I was saying, who are making like the really, really big money, they are all, most of them at the very least, in IT. They, uh, they are IT related. And there's no discussion, I think, that a big part of all of that is coming from the fact that everybody's connected these days. There is no other industry that connects people as readily and can manipulate people and in I mean technically you can basically build Facebook with a laptop. If you look at that from like a, a resource investment, it's nothing. You can literally just by getting in, uh, in theory now by just going online and getting information that is practically free and then you're and a visionary of some sort. You can build an entire multi-billion com dollar company by just that. You don't have to buy any resources, you don't have to have any land, you don't even have to have an office, it doesn't matter. You sit down, build the right thing at the right time. And I mean, I'm, very, I'm really broad stroking it here and I'm really simplifying, but it is possible. No one else can claim that, except for you maybe winning the lottery. And I promise you, it's a, most of the time going to be more likely that you get to be a millionaire as a software developer than that you're going to be a millionaire through winning the lottery. The thing that I think is worth noting, though, is that in uh, there is a there is a lot of people who are, who are, and that's usually what humans do in many cases. Like we, we our minds over project the thing that we think something is about it's uh, you can usually say that i think it's fairly safe to say that humans have a tendency to exaggerate practically anything everything from oh this is really bad to it, it something is bad becomes this is the worst thing ever something is good becomes this is the best thing ever and in software development it's sort of the same thing because there is as i will, i've been saying this idea that there's so much money in IT and like there's um, everything is happening right there that people start believing like they kind of get caught up in the thing themselves and even the people who are hiring software developers can uh, have, have their own thing that they kind of go by an example would be well sure it is true that really good software developers that you have been hearing about the really good ones they will make you these billions and billions that you're talking that we you've been hearing about but that's not the average fucking programmer it's like claim... Okay, no, I'm not going to say that, because... Uh, yeah. No. We're not going to talk about penis sizes and stuff like that. It's something very similar to that. It's... Uh, it, you are projecting what is... 
what is sort of true in some cases to mean it's true for everybody and that's just not the case many times most IT companies they don't actually become these massive super successes and then lot and some developers a lot of them are them are really good and they are underpaid really underpaid and some of them are earning more than they're actually worth not because they're because they're not good, they're not really earning that sort of like the sort of they, they're not really the sort of developer that is going to give you all those millions and billions that you're looking for they're average fucking people that they are good at selling that they're really good or you are really bad at estimating the value of of people and that is uh, something that is a problem every single day there are there are so many developers who are vastly underpaid in comparison to how good they are and then there are some developers or like some people i mean even it doesn't even have to be developers some people are like literally like i don't know how many i i have lost count of how many titles i find in middle management it feels like every other person who is in middle management is inventing their job oh i'm a business analyzing po with uh, extra strength and two two plus in magic i don't even know what you do i have never seen you do anything except just per turn on the 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 lights and like uh, set up the projector when we're going to have a meeting that seems to be your entire job because apart from that i can't really see what you're doing i'm going to be fair i mostly of the time i'm just doing my coder thing right so and i don't really speak human languages so i don't really keep track of what everybody else is doing but that that's usually why you're earning these this sort of money so what i want you to take away from this is that uh, we're making insane amounts of money according to everybody except for maybe the people who are actually doing the work because all the money is in IT and if you're really really good that means that you can make millions and billions for your company and so we of course think that that's every single developer when in reality that is like maybe one percent of the total and the rest are people who will either help out sort of and like provide provide some value but not not significantly more than a construction worker would help out at any given project and in some cases there's actually the hype is actually working against the people who are trying to find these really good developers because you don't know what they look like and so you hire people that are really shit and you can't evaluate the quality of their work at least when you're building a building there's some way for you to figure out if the thing is going to hold or not you don't know that about software developers but we still, well, we still get, uh, depending on, uh, and usually that depends on how good you are at negotiating. But the people who are really good at this stuff to sell that they're really good, they rake in the cash. And the people who are either too focused on the tech or too humble, they usually get underpaid. Uh, if it makes you, who may, not or may, may or may not be developers, feel any better, it gets really tough to make all these mil Google millions that you've been hearing about if you're an average Joe. And especially it gets tough when you get a little bit older because nobody seems to want to hire. It's beyond me, but nobody seems to want to hire a developer who doesn't sell the ideal of being a Silicon Valley super genius with autism. Have a great day.